be cruising in my lane fast, call it high speed. I've been working hard, yeah, I've been working nightly. If you think you'll win, ha, not likely. Okay, back on the 79 Camaro. First thing we're going to do is take off the glove box in order to give us a little more access to this heater core. The dreaded heater core. Then you got a little tab here. You got a finagle out of there. And that'll be the removal of your glove box. If it was all that easy, everybody would be doing it. Okay, next, let me put all this up and get it organized. But next thing we'll be doing is removing the inner glove box liner which is just a couple of screws on bottom. There's supposed to be a strap there, but this one doesn't seem to have one, so I may have to rig something up down the road. But this inner liner for the glove box isn't the correct one for this car. So I'm gonna have to track one down or modify this one. I'll see if I can find one though. So that'll be the next thing we take off and then after that, we're going to remove the stereo. That'll be our first two steps of attack to get this heater core, heater box out to get to the heater core. And then we'll go from there. Okay, now we're taking out the inner glove box liner. Uh, inner liners out it's not correct so I'll try to track one down or we'll figure this one out maybe customize it add on a section not sure but now we got the glove box out so I'll bring y'all in to get a better look at that okay glove box out we can see more of the heater box I'm gonna have to remove this a uh, little vacuum sucker upper for the vent and but I'm gonna go ahead and remove the stereo next because of the fact that I know I'm gonna it'll give me a little more room but there's the air ducts that go behind here and up to all the vents such as these two vents and this vent over here we got air duct that's supposed to run all along there and mine's all snapped into, cut, uh, corroded, and definitely needs replacing. So I'll be getting new air ducts for all that. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this old 1980-something Pioneer cassette player, AM, FM cassette. Back in the day, you know, it was the stuff. Pioneer was good. So, we'll set up and remove that. And then continue on. So let me see if I can get y'all set up somewhere over here. Remove the knobs. on it uh, maybe I want to see if I can take this off loosen it just a needle nose because they're right here and I don't want to have to get up and go to the box again and get a wrench or socket if I can loosen it with this needle nose which looks like I can for the most part All right. 
I gotta measure my air ducts and see what I got. I think they're two inches, but I wanna make sure we the right size because there's a bunch of different sizes I found out. Alright, I almost got to do this one. Make sure there's a bracket back there holding up as well. That's not the right tool for the job, but I'll make it work. These are long threads. Okay, one off. Two off. And I guess there it is. Okay, stereo removed. Got a couple of washers that were in here. Okay. Uh, one other washer fell down somewhere. Okay, so stereo removed. You can see a little more now the vents in the back. I'll have more room in there to get to those vents and replace all that old broken air ducts. And it should give me a little more clearance to get this heater box out in order to access the heater core. Looks like we're missing a bolt that goes there. And I noticed over here we were missing a bolt as well. So. Looks like maybe a couple of bolts are already out, or missing at least, so that this has been gone through before in the past by somebody. So, that's it for right now. It is still 95 degrees in the garage. I had to turn all my fans off because you couldn't hear me if I had them on. So I'm going to get everything organized here pick up all the bolts and screws and organize everything get it ready take a 10 minute break get some fresh air and we'll come back and hit some more stay tuned I'll be cruising in my lane fast call it high speed I've been working hard yeah I've been working nightly if you think you'll win ha, not likely